What's up, Darsizzle Nation? Darsizzle and Brian here, of course. And we just got back from Homosassa, Florida. We just had an epic trip. And in this video, we are going to show you exactly how to catch scallops. And be sure to stay tuned until the end of the video where I show you a couple ways to cook them up for a delicious meal for the entire family. Let's get right to the video. Get off my face like that. Getting ready to leave the house. We're going on a fun expedition. Well, we're going on a fun trip. In this video, we are headed to the west coast of Florida, particularly Homosassa Springs. We're taking Megan and we're going scalloping. And what time are we leaving? We're supposed to leave literally an hour ago. I and literally. Let me check. We literally Gail and Brian specifically said, let's go, let's go, let's go. I told he him. Did, and then Brian wasn't ready at three. <laughs> I was ready. I told him, I told him, if we don't leave at three o'clock, I'm going to be so angry, and it's 4.15. Uh -oh. oh, let me check my watch. Oh, it's late 0.30. Uh-oh. <laughs> All right, let's go. Uh-oh, this is going to be a really long car ride. <laughs> check. Necessity. Beer. All right. Check. We're going out with Redhead, Homo Sassa. Hopefully some group of fishing, too. Let's go, ladies. It is a beautiful day here. We are actually still in Florida, but we are on the west coast of Florida today. Today I am going scalloping and snorkeling with Captain Redhead Adventures here in Homosassa Springs. I've got my sister Megan coming along with me today. This is going to be her first time scalloping. It's going to be my second time scalloping. And we got Captain Redhead at the helm. Morning. Of course. It's nice to have you back again. We also have Ashley on the boat. She's hiding at the moment. But we are really excited and looking forward to getting our limit today. So we're rolling out right now. You guys got to check out that first video when we came down here with Redhead and went scalloping. I'll put that link right up in the description below. And of course, you can come here and do this with Redhead too. We'll talk about more about that later when we're cooking them scallops. But there'll be a link in the description below to hook up a Redhead and you guys can come out here and get all the scallops you want or redfish or whatever. Yeah, grouper, cobia, whatever. But it's scallop day today. There you go. About to leave. Already packing. Come with me. I'm not really asking, we'll get away to a place where we don't know. About to see the world in action, what we can be, life with no distractions, we'll get away, this is what we waited for. Amazing, yep. And he grew up down there. So. Get him? Yeah, it's all about the shoes. It's all about the shoes. It's good to have you back. Yes, uh, I'm you're, excited. You're, you're going to be a pro this time. We yeah. are power pulled down. We're in the spot, anchored up, and ready to get in the water. Yeah. But we got to first get lessons. Uh, 
So this is what you're looking for. You got a dark side and a light side. Uh, you're going to see two different bottoms down here, a grassy bottom and then a hard sandy bottom. At the beginning of the season this year, they seemed to be more on the hard sandy bottom than the grass, but within the last couple of weeks, it's like they've moved to the grass. Um, so if the white side is up in the grass, it's they're real easy to see. They yeah. stick out like a sore thumb. If the dark side is up, they're camouflaged. It's harder to see. And that's the hardest part about doing this is conditioning your eyes what to look for. And you mm -hmm. remember that from last year. Yes. Once you once you figured it out, it was on. Right. I think you even you said look, game on. Right, right, you look for their cobalt blue eyes. Right, they have a row of cobalt blue or turquoise blue eyes on the edge of each shell. And if they see you coming, that's how they propel themselves by opening and closing like that. Okay. When you grab them, you want to try to grab them from the hinge side like that. If you grab them this way, they will pinch you. It doesn't really hurt. It'll startle you more than anything. So mm -hmm. try to grab them from the hinge side. Okay. When you grab them, pinch them before they can pinch you. Just hold them closed. When you put them in your bag, hold the bag closed because they will try to swim mm -hmm. out of the bag. Okay. Where there's one, there's usually more than one. So what I'm doing, I'm swimming along at the top. When I see one, just bend at the waist and I'll take you straight down to it. Okay. When you're down, look real quick to either side. Uh, it happened many times yesterday where I saw one from the top and I got down, there were three or four other ones right there. Awesome. When you have this one, don't worry about him. You already have him. If you see the next one, keep your eye on the next one because if you take your eye off it, you're going to lose it. Don't worry about the one you already have. Mm -hmm. You know, just, you know, keep your eye on the next one. Gotcha. Uh, and how many gallons can we keep today? In the shell, you're allowed to keep two gallons per person per day. Okay. Uh, so, you know, with the five of us on the boat, we can t keep 10 gallons and Awesome. I'm pretty confident we're going to limit uh, today. You know, you got it down. You know, we'll, awesome. we'll help you get started. Uh, we got Ashley, the scallop queen, with us here today. She's going to get a it. ton of them for us. So nice. uh, we're ready, unless you guys have any questions. Ready to do it. I do have one question. Oh, oh she raised her hand. Too. So, <laughs> well, I, I hear about this. Uh, treasure, this yeah, certain scallop. Oh. Go. The, uh, the orange shell, these are pretty rare, you know, trophy catch. You did get at least I one last year. I did catch one last year. year. Uh, and, um, we just had some folks from uh, Florida Sportsman here a week or so ago. Uh, he called them calico. I had never heard him call calico before, and he said they come from deeper water. Huh. But I've heard many different stories. So about it's very it, rare to like catch one. Yeah, yeah. Of that it, color. It is definitely a trophy or catch. Do it today. Uh, they taste the same though. Yeah. So let's cool. go scalloping. Okay, let's do right. it. Here goes nothing. into the water and I got a nice bag of scallops here. I think that's quite a bit for the first drop and I even found an orange one which is really sweet. 
But that's got to be at least a gallon, right? Yeah, that's at least a gallon. It's a nice bag. Yeah. Sure gallon. Nice and basically, like exactly what Red Ed said, when he finds some, you're going to find a whole bunch more. And that's exactly what happened. So take a little break, catch, get some water, and go back in the water. That's awesome. <laughs> With my uh, lucky dar sizzle yes. bracelet. We're all wearing our lucky <laughs> fish <hook> bracelets. <laughs> of course, mine is red. <laughs> yes, of course. <laughs> You guys, if you want your own lucky fishing hook bracelets, you have to check the links down in the description below. I'm just saying. We just took a little break together, hanging out on the boat. Absolutely beautiful day out here. And for us, it's a Monday, which means it's like there's no other boats out here really to compete with. So we don't have to worry about the boat traffic on the weekends, which is awesome. And I'm pretty sure on that last dive, I think I had the most in my bag. I'm, I'm pretty sure, <laughs> but I'm just saying. So we're, everyone's in the water already. I'm the last one, let's go. That time I feel like I found a lot more, a lot faster, but the only problem now is the current is ripping, so you're working against that the whole time. So you get a little exhausted, but it's worth it for dollops of goodness. About to leave, already packing, come with me, I'm not really asking, we'll get away to a place where we don't know. We'll get away. This is what we waited for. Take my hand, we'll make it somehow. We can't miss out. I'm done living life with the did it. There's there. All right, guys, back at the house. You know, this is the cook portion of our scallop adventure. You know, Puddin' is always in charge of the eating and the cooking. Red Ed's here. Hey, how are you? All right, so we got the shuckers. We got them all in a bag, and we also got some on a half shell. So what are you doing here, Captain? Uh, just rinsing the shells. Uh, we're going to put, put the scallops back on the shells, probably three or four per shell, and before we put them on the grill. Nice, so you're just cleaning those up. Yeah, just rinsing them off here. Uh, Ashley's working on the steak. Nice. Uh, here's the scallops right over here. So you, will you rinse those? Yeah, they've already been rinsed, uh, and we're getting ready to put them back on the half shell. And then we put them on the barbecue? Yes, sir, on the grill, Ooh, all right. right next to the steaks. Sounds Do good. Dollops of goodness. Oh, don't do that anymore. <laughs> yo, yo, yo. I don't do this anymore. <laughs> yes, you do. <laughs> <laughs> Dossie is getting the next video ready for you while we're cooking dinner yep. on her laptop. Always be working. This is what I do behind the scenes. So I'm always working, whether I'm offshore or I am in the house working. But the next video is an awesome challenge video with kids fishing with fans. You'll, that'll be the one you see before this one. Exactly. <laughs> All right, get back to work. Dude, these are big fat snakes. Look fat, man. Yeah. Surfing the sasa. Pretty good ahead. Yes, it looking good. <laughs> What's in there? <laughs> <laughs> What's in there? <laughs> Where are you going? <laughs> All right, so we're marinating or coating the oysters, oysters, scallops, no, and the butter. Oyster. No, no, the oysters. <laughs> butter and garlic. The clams and garlic. <laughs> butter, garlic, lemon juice, salt and pepper. All right. Lots of garlic. And then we're going to put them in the shells and then on the barbecue. All right, Megan, you ready? <laughs> Are you hungry, Brian? <laughs> a little mistake there. Ooh. And then what we're going to do. Time to start eating. I made a mistake. We actually broiled these for like two minutes. Well, we did the scallops. We grilled them. Oh, no. We broiled these. We sauteed some extras, not on the half shell. Got the rice, and the broccoli, and the steak. I'm done working for the moment. I'm taking a break for dinner and Red Ed and Ashley and Megan and everyone has been preparing dinner, which is totally amazing. And I literally didn't even lift a finger. So I'm just really lucky and 
blessed to be here and catching scallops with Captain Redhead's adventures. And guys, he's really well known in this area. So if you ever want to come to Homosassa, Crystal River area, Red Ed is your guy, especially during scallop season. He's mm -hmm. solid booked. You guys like need to that like book a year in advance, right? Yeah, I've already started booking charters for next year. Yeah, for so he's the real deal, and he knows like where the scallops are. He said he could feel it before we even there. Like he know he knows <laughs> that he knows they're there. And the same with fish. He does a lot and, of red and fishing. I, and I told you what we were gonna do today. You did. You I did. told you yesterday. And we got it done. He t texted me that we're gonna get our limit today, and we did. So Captain Red is the man. Check it out if you're ever coming to this coast on the west coast of Florida. But let's make our plates and. Taste it. That's smells that. so good. It smells so good. Can imagine. I think this is the best. I oh, yeah. It's like two or three scallops per shell. Megan's already di diving in, so what do you think? This is awesome. This is my first time having it. And Megan's in heaven. Yes, I'm Literally. in heaven. Literally. That's she's the one like, you caught today. Oh, she's no, like, that, that was four or five on there. You caught all of them. Yeah. <laughs> Brian met, missed it on the video, but she, I came around the corner and she's like, Darcy, these are so good. With her eyes like wide open. <laughs> like she's like in heaven. All right, here we go. One for Vecho. Oh, yeah. That is so good. I'm really. Looking forward to diving in on this. It, it's just, I don't know how to explain it, but like, it's, it's seafood for sure, mm. but it's more like, it almost tastes like crab meat, kind yeah. of, but it's not like fishy. Oh. It's not like a fish fillet. It's dollops of goodness. It's dollops of goodness, exactly. But it's got like a perfect <laughs> consistency to it. Very delicious, and of course, you can't go wrong with the butter and garlic. We love garlic. So, really looking forward to diving in on this dinner. It's totally amazing. Thank you again to Red Ed and Ashley for cooking dinner for us. I can't wait to eat it, and I can't wait to take home our extra scallops to Dad, um, to Dad yeah. Sizzle, so he can have some too. So thank you guys for watching this video. I hope y'all enjoyed it. Make sure you hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out on our videos, and also hit the bell button too, so that way you receive updates of when our new videos get posted. Oh yes, this is very important. Hold on. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, guys. Sorry, I couldn't wrap it up Thanks, yet. Thanks, We gotta have our land sharks. Thank, big thank you to Land Shark Vlogger for allowing us to go on these amazing trips and uh, eat a delicious meal. So, looking forward to it. Thank you, guys. Until my next adventure, follow your dream and keep on catching.